Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Conley Center here on the campus of Ironton High School. And tonight's Division Three Region 11 Southeast District semifinal matchup between the number two seed South Point Pointers taking on the number seven seed Fairland Dragons. I'm Jack Harris along with Dave Carroll, Jerry Bell, and Doug Morris bringing you tonight's action. Coach, third meeting between these two teams. Both teams are members of the Ohio Valley Conference and South Point got the best of Fairland two times. I remember back in December we did that game and uh, they came into uh, the Carl York Center and thrashed the Dragons 58 to 30. You know, it was a little closer contest down at South Point, but I think we still won by double digits. Uh, they thumped us at home. That, that, yeah. uh, that, they were very impressive that night they played us there. Right. But, Coach, you and I both coach a lot of basketball, and I'm going to say this, but folks at home, it's hard to beat a team three times in a season. Yes, sir. So we'll see if South Point has the magic tonight and can do that, but uh, it, it's it's hard to beat a, it's hard to beat a same team three times in a season. South Point comes in with a 20 and three record, and the Fairland Dragons come in at 16 and eight. Uh, but they're they're used to being in uh, districts and uh, having a long tournament run. They just haven't had as many wins this year as they're used to. But uh, South Point's a very tough ball club. And uh, especially the, they have the district player of the year in Caleb Lovely. And uh, he's an outstanding basketball player. And uh, got that smooth stroke for a left-handed. Coach, he's a, he's a very impressive player. He really is. And, you know, the Dornan kid inside is, is, a, is, a, is a man on the board. That's I true. Mean, he really gets But you know ball. who's the guy that keeps that glue together? And you know I can't say his name. <laughs> Jordan Umerlavi. That's it. He's, yes. he's, the, he's the glue that gets those guys. And well, I think he together. hit about three or four threes in a row down at South Point when the contest was really close and he widened the gap and they were able to pull off the victory. And uh, like I said, they are the current Ohio Valley Conference champions. The Dragons have their work cut out for them. But uh, as you say, and you and I both know, it is very difficult to beat a team three times. I expect a good ball game here tonight. I do too. And, you, and Coach, you know Coach Wise from South Point and Coach Speed from Fairland are very familiar with each other. There won't be any surprises. And, uh, you know, it's just going to boil down to the kids tonight and let's see what happens. Yep. Turnovers, rebounding, and uh, possibly free throws can determine the outcome of this ball game. Well, Coach, can we uh, take a minute and look at the boys' bracket? Sure. If we can get, uh, get that popped up for you guys on the screen, you guys can see the bracket. We're in the upper, we're in the upper section of that bracket. And... Uh, we're in the district semifinals tonight. Uh, re, a, uh, I guess the district finals will be on the fifth, I believe. Is that correct, Coach? Yes, sir. And uh, last night, uh, Zane Trace thumped Wheelersburg pretty good to, to gain a berth in that district final. Beat them 14, 53 to 39. And the reason that the Dragons did not play last night was because the Lady Dragons were playing in a regional semifinal at Zane, or Zane, Zanesville High School. And uh, that was two undefeated teams at 25 and 0. And the uh, Dragons just really turned it on after halftime and won by 27 points. And we'll talk more about them at halftime, when they're playing again, who they're playing. and. Uh, but tonight we're concentrating here on the boys. We've got about four minutes and 45 seconds to go before we tip off. But uh, yeah, the uh, that'll be in the finals, and that I'm not sure where that's going to be. Where did they play the uh, Zane Trace? They played that. They moved it to uh, Jackson. They played that oh, right, at Jackson right, last night. Exactly. So I uh, I don't think that it's I don't know that. 
it's been released. I, well, I'm sure it's been released where it's going to be, but I haven't read or, or heard anything where that uh, district championship game's going to be at. But, Coach, we got a pretty good crowd below us and a pretty good crowd on the other side. Yes, I expect it to uh, be pretty loud. Here tonight, we have the <laughs> South Point student section sitting directly underneath us. And uh, they look like they're sitting there chomping at the bit, Coach. Just can't wait. Well, and I'm glad to see both schools have their, you know, student, student sections here. And it... Hey, isn't this what high school is about, though? Absolutely. Let these guys yes. come in, have a good time, and there's nothing like high school tournament basketball. And there's nothing like high school football, football. playoff. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's uh, a very exciting moment for all the communities involved. Uh, I'm gonna give a quick shout out. I told you we should have gave this guy a shout out last time. <laughs> Dr. Ireland Wiley. Yes, sir. I know he's watching. Yes, sir. He's an avid fan of uh, Fairland Sports, and uh, he loves that we were able to bring him the broadcast. And, hey, Doc, you probably went out and hit the golf ball today, didn't you? You know, I owe him a lot. <laughs> Do you realize all those years ago I started teaching, I took his place? Oh, really? Yes. I know you took his stool. Well, I still got that stool, <laughs> Doc. <laughs> Usually Jerry gets to sit on that stool. <laughs> well, we were lucky that we got some seats to him. Yeah, we got to thank, thank Coach uh, Pimson down here at uh, Ironton for helping us get table and chairs and everything we needed to get set up. Well, we are set up and ready to go. Well, Coach, real quick, I know we got a couple minutes. Tell us about your trip this weekend with the with with the granddaughters up to the state tournament. Oh yeah, we ended up being the state championship runner up. We beat a team that uh, really hadn't been beat this year, the Columbus Academy. Beat them by six in pool play, and then we kind of knew we were probably going to match up again in the championship game. And, uh, we, we lost by five points, 41 to 36. But uh, those girls have uh, had a tremendous year. As a matter of fact, are getting ready to go to another tournament tomorrow night up in Miami Trace. And then if we win, we'll play two games Saturday. And in between, we think we're going to venture over and watch the girls' regional championship game between the Fairland Dragons and Granville. Have you ever, are you playing in Miami Trace in the high school? I have no idea. Well, if uh, you do, you're going to be in for a treat. That is a uh, great true. gym, yes. Great gym. And by the way, Coach, I'm glad you're back. <laughs> I'm glad to be back. Hey, you know, I was trying to sit here and memorize these names, and <laughs> good thing I had Ricky filled in, did a great job. But we're glad you're back. Yes. I'm glad you're back. Good to be back. Okay, we got about 45 seconds, and we're going to take a little break and uh, honor America with the playing of the national anthem. And then we'll bring you the starting lineups for tonight's district semifinal matchup between the number two seed South Point Pointers and the number six seed Fairland Dragons.
Tonight's tournament game is sponsored by the Your attendance and support of student athletes and coaches is appreciated by members who are competing for the right to move on. The both teams are rivals and are expected to exhibit the bodies of good sportsmanship throughout the contest and the administration of both schools requests the same from all fans. The official side of this tournament game has been extensive requirements seen by the High High School Athletic Association. Well, Coach, let's get some starters if we can real fast. We got uh, Jerry, can we pop up, go ahead and pop up Fairland starters. I think they'll be first tonight. First tonight for the Dragons, Will Davis playing forward, he'll be he's 6'1 junior. Uh, you can see his uh, stats right there real quick. Uh, Chase Allen will be your point guard tonight, he's 5'10 junior. And Coach, he lit it up the other night for about 30 points. Had a, had a really good game. And, I, and Will played really good the other night, too. Uh, J.D. Thacker, he's number four. He's a senior forward. He 11.1 points a game. He didn't score a lot the other night. I think he only had one basket, but he did a good job uh, playing defense and being on the boards. Uh, Steeler Lee, number 10, he's a six foot forward. Uh, he averages 10 points a game. He'll be signing coach uh, tomorrow night, his letter of intent, play football at Northmore. And our last starter is Brody Buchanan. He's number 33. He's a sophomore and he's 5'9". He'll be playing the other guard. He averages right at about 10 points a game. I think uh, Steeler's going to Norwood. At Norwood, Northwood, yeah. Norwood. Norwood. Right. I don't know exactly where that is. It's in uh, the state up north. Okay. <laughs> Michigan. Oh, no. Well, we're all hold that against him. I wish him nothing but the best. All right, Coach Jerry's going to pop up our starters for South Point. Can you uh, give those to us? Okay. Uh, Number zero for South Point is Caleb Lovely, who is a district player of the year. Number 10, Zathan Haney. Number 22, Jackson Yance. Number 24, the guy who makes him go, Jordan Ermolovich. And number 33, the man in the middle, Xander Dornan. The district finals for the boys will be played at Ohio University the Athens, in Athens, the Convocation Center on the 5th of March. And we need to thank Ms. Rohrball for those uh, 6 p.m. I think my daughter Ashley just sent me a same thing. Yep. She said it's going to be played at the condo. Jason Haney, I don't guess, is going to start. Number three, Carter Smith will be there. Number 30, Brandon Brett Hanshaw. Number 45, Derek Taylor. And number 50, Jackson Children. Head coach for the South Point Warriors is Mr. Travis Wise. Nine starters for South Point. Number three. There, you heard the PA announcer, Mr. Rick McKnight. They're doing it forever. And now we're ready to go. Looks like Will Smith.
Oh, Will Smith. There I go again. That's okay. I did it last last <laughs> yes. game. You're good. Will Davis. <laughs> He's going to jump against Xander Dornan. And here we go with the district semifinal. And there's a tip and it's controlled by Caleb Lovely. Over to Ermilovic. Ermilovic to Carter. Carter brings it out. He gives it to Caleb Lovely. Dragons, and it looks like in a 1-3-1, one, one, Coach. Looks like they may trap a little bit out of it. Yance to Lovely. Lovely, the left-hander puts it up. It's off the rim. Xander Dornan is... Tried to get the rebound, and he shoved behind. That's going to be a foul on the Dragons, number four, J.D. Thacker, his first team foul, number, number one. Inbound is Ermilovic. He gets it to Xander in the middle, in the corner to Ermilovic, puts up a three. It's off the rim, and it's knocked out of bounds by the Dragons, and the Pointers will retain possession. 7.24 to go here. Ball's inbounded. Hermilovic gets it to Carter. Carter to Lovely. Cross court to Carter and gets it back up top. Hermilovic. Carter's going to put up a three. That's off the rim, but there's Caleb Lovely for the rebound. He misses, but it's tipped back in by number three, Carter Smith. And South Point takes early lead, two zip. J.D. Thacker to steal, Leap's gonna take a three. It's off the front of the rim. But Thacker pulls down the rebound. Gets it over to Will Davis. Davis brings it cross court. Back out top to Thacker. Thacker looking, South Point in man to man. Thacker working in the lane. Gets it out to Brody Buchanan who hands it off to Will Davis. Back out top, Steeler Leap. Leap to Thacker. Th Leap's gonna take a jump shot. And it's short, pulled down by Irmilovic. No, excuse me, that was lovely to pull that rebound down. Ermilovic with it. Back up top to Carter. Inside Yance, over to Carter. Back out top to Lovely. Ermilovic, he dribbles inside the free throw line, gets it in the corner to Carter. Back out top to Lovely. There's a pass down low to Xander. Dornan, he misses the, the shot. And J.D. Thacker taking it to the basket. It's punched out of bounds by Coach, South Point. Both teams being very deliberate on offense Yeah, tonight. taking a lot of time. Two nothing, your score with two and a half minutes into the game. Chase Allen with it, top of the key. Gets it out to Thacker on the right wing. Shot fake. It looked like a foul there, but no call. Carter. Lovely's going to put up a three, and he nails it. It's 5 nothing. South Point. Brody Buchanan with it. He brings it across the line. Thacker with it on the right wing. He's across court to Allen. Allen, he drives the lane. And that shot is blocked. No, we got a foul. We got a foul on number 22. That's Jackson Yance. 
That'll bring uh, Chase Allen to the line to shoot two free throws. 4.33 to go here in the first quarter. South Point ahead, five, two, one. Allen puts in the first one. Allen's second shot is on its way and it's good. Now, it looks like they've gone to a 2-3 matchup, Coach. Yes, sir. They're going to double team out of it. Armilovich down the right side, over to Lovely. He kicks it out to Carter. Carter down low to Lovely. And he's shut down there by Steeler Leap. Lovely. Armilovich. Dornan, Carter, Yance, back to Ermolovich, down low, nice fake, and a basket there by number 22, Jackson Yance. Seven to two. Allen drives and dishes the leap. Now, there goes J.D. Thacker down the lane, and he's fouled as he puts up a shot. Number 33, Xander Dornan, his first. Team foul number two. And J.D. Thacker will be at the line to shoot two free throws. Thacker's first shot is good. Packers second shot's on the way, and it's good as well. Seven to four. Dragons back in their 2-3 matchup. Cross court to Ermolovich, down low. Inside to Xander Dornan. He turns, spins, puts up a shot. It's off the rim, rebounded by Chase Allen. Allen brings it up the floor, gives it to Will Davis. He takes it down the lane, drops it off, Steeler Leap. Great pocket pass there by Chase Allen to Steeler Leap. He puts it up and in and 7 6. Carter with it. Lovely. He's going to put up another three. It's in and out. JD Thacker pulls down the board. He brings it up the floor. Hands it off to Will Davis. He takes it in. That shot is blocked by Lovely. Out of bounds. Kid's got some hops. Oh, he does. <laughs> you know, Coach, that was a great play right there. It really was. Yes. Zathan Haney in the lineup for the pointers, Coach. Right. He uh, played quite a bit. That shot's put up by Allen. And rebound, Allen runs it down past half court. Gives it over to J.D. Thacker. Birdie Buchanan. Hands back to Thacker. Pointer's still in there man to man. Knocked out of Allen's hands, but Steeler Leak comes up with it. Very, very deliberate, Coach. Right. Allen goes up, puts up a bank shot, and it's good. And the Dragons have the first lead of the game, 8-7. to seven. Hermilovich with the three. It's off the back of the rim. Will Davis pulls down the board. Quickly up the floor. Backer with it. Hands it off to Leap. Leap in the lane. Gives it back to Thacker. Up top to Will Davis. And that ball is taken away by Ermolovich. And Davis knocks it out of bounds. They tried to get it to Caleb Lovely. 
on the left sideline. Checking in also Jackson Childers, number 50, for South Point. He's in for Dornan, give him a break. Carter with it, it's a pick by Zaney. Or Haney, excuse me. Hermelavich at the top of the key. There's a shot inside of number 50, Jackson Shoulders. He knocks it down. And that's going to give South Point the lead again with 45 seconds to go here in the first quarter. South Point nine, Fairland eight. Pretty confident there out of number 50. He just come in, first touch, he knocks it down. That's right. Well, you got to have confidence. Coach, this tournament basketball, you're one and done. You got to play with confidence. Survive in advance. J.D. Thacker with it in the lane. He gets it, gets it back out to Brody Buchanan. And down to 15 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Will Davis, the Thacker, Thacker to Allen. Eight, seven. Nice drop off again from Chase Allen to Steeler Leap, and he lays it up and in. That's going to give the Dragons an early lead here after one quarter of basketball. Fairland 10, South Point 9. Coach, about what we expected, close game. Right. That's two dandy passes Chase Allen's had dropped off the Steeler lead. Well, I'll tell you, and uh, Will Davis made a beautiful pass down there, too, just a minute ago. We've had three layups off really good passes. So, Coach, as I said, both teams are very deliberate. They both know what each other's going to do. That's why it's such a low score, Coach, 10-9. to nine. Uh, Fairland right so far has done a really good job in their 2-3 matchup. Yes. And I noticed they're rotating around a little bit different than I think normally would. South Point stayed in there man-to-man. -man, so let's see what kind of changes we get in the second quarter, if any. Looks like it's going to be Fairland basketball coming out. Yes, sir. South Point did get the opening tip, so it will be the Dragon Fall to start the second quarter here. Looks like South Point's going to stay in their man. Thacker inbounds to Buchanan. He hands it back out to Will Davis. Run a little. Buchanan with the jumper. It's off the front of the rim and on the run out. Is That's Zathan Haney all alone. And South Point goes back in front in this seesaw battle so far. Thacker out to. Allen, Allen drives it down the lane. And coming up with the loose ball, Zion Martin, who's checked in for the Dragons. He's in for a Steeler leap. Will Davis to Thacker. Thacker spins, kicks it out to Will Davis, puts up a three. That's off the rim. And that rebound's pulled down by Caleb Lovely. And Will Davis tried to steal it. Gets called for the foul. That's... The second team foul on the Dragons, first on Davis. Hermelovich, he gives it back to Lovely, who gives it back to Hermelovich. Dragons look like they're now, now they're still in the zone. Lovely puts up a three. Off the rim and coming out of there with us, Brody Buchanan. Buchanan to Davis. He looks to drive, kicks it out to JD Thacker. He looks to drive and we got an offensive foul and that basket's not going to count. 
And that's two fouls on J.D. Thacker. And team foul number three on the Dragons. And that wipes out the bucket. Lovely with it, he brings it across court. Haney. He gives it out to Carter. Carter brings it top of the key. Ermilovic. Down in the corner to Lovely. He drives to the basket, kicks it out to Carter. Carter takes it all the way. And looks like we're going to have an offensive foul the other way. Oh, no. No, they called that bucket good. And the foul is on Zion Martin for the block. So that's going to put South Point up 13 to 10. And Carter's going to go to the line, and try to complete the three point play. Carter's shot is off the back of the rim. Buchanan boxes into the mount and gets the board. Quickly up the floor, Thacker inside to Nyon Martin, and we got a blocking foul on number 24, Jordan Nurmilovic. That's his first. Team foul number three on the pointers. Buchanan inbounds to Thacker and Martin cross court to Davis. Davis hands off to Buchanan. He pulls up from 15 and banks it in. It's 13-12. Coach, that's Brody's first basket of the ball game. Well, I've only seen him take a couple shots. I think they know about his prowess. He could score in bunches. Lovely to the rack. Puts it up and in. Will Davis brings it across the line. To Thacker, back to Davis. Brody Buchanan with it. He works in the lane, pulls up again. This one doesn't go. Hermelovic pulls down the board. Cross court. To Lovely, he kicks it back out to Ermilovic. Carter with it, back out top to Ermilovic. He gets it inside to Carter, who kicks it to Zathan Haney. His shot's too strong, but Doran comes down with the board. And his pocket is picked. Davis with it, Buchanan. Thacker puts up a three, and it's good. And the Dragons have tied it up, 15 all. 4.05 to go here on a running clock. In the Conley Center, looks like Keegan Smith getting ready to check in for the Dragons. Carter. Ermilovic down low to Haney, who puts it up and in. Nice drop off there from Ermilovic to Haney. And Coach, their offense against this 2-3 zone starting to click. They've got people uh, coming on the backside. In, in the middle, and then you've got your baseline runner cutting to the basket. That's the way you beat the 2-3. Got to get it in the middle. Zion Martin in the corner to Thacker. Buchanan's going to put up a long three. Hits off the board. Haney comes out with it. Over to Ermilovic. Haney. Ermilovic going to put up a three. In and out. And Will Davis pulls down the board. Davis up the floor. Buchanan. Buchanan to Thacker. Thacker kicks it out to Davis back up top. Chase Allen with it now. 
Buchanan over to Thacker. Chase Allen, Buchanan. Back up top to Davis. There's the back door to Allen. He puts a shot up and he fouled. He fouled on the play, on the shot, number 33. That's Xander Dornan. That's his second team, or second personal foul. Team foul. They got four on the board. How many do you have? That's good. Four. We got four. Okay. Both both teams have four, yeah. Coach. Chase Allen's first shot is up and in. And that cuts it to 17-16. Checking in, number four, Elijah Wilburn for South Point. And Jackson Yance checks back in. Allen's second shot is up and in. And we have a tie once again. Lovely kicks it out to Ermolovic to Dornan. Dornan at the free throw line. Gets it back to Lovely. Lovely looking to drive. He's shut off there by Allen and Leap. Get it inside to Xander Dornan. His shot is in and out. Steeler Leap comes up with the rebound quickly up court. Kicks it back out to Allen. Buchanan with it on the right wing. Back up top to Martin. To Keegan Smith. To Allen. Allen. Gets it over to Buchanan. A minute and 25 to go here in the first half. And we've got a five second count. Elijah Wilburn. Closely guarded uh, Brody Buchanan is what they say. Well, I thought he made a move toward the basket, Coach. I guess not. Tie ball game. Yes. Time out South Point. 123. Don't you get the feeling this might be a white knuckle? Yeah, and I'm not going to mention what you thought. <laughs> I will say this, the other night on the show, I actually picked Portsmouth to upset South Point, and I was close. They went to overtime, the and Dragons, South Point ended up winning. Yeah, the Dragons are uh, staying in this for free throws. They are six for six from the line. Yes. And South Point, Coach, has only shot one, and that was Carter Smith on a, making a three-point play, and he missed that one. But there's 14 fouls on each side, so. Pretty evenly matched game so far. Scoreboard, fouls. This place is going to be rocking here in the second half. <laughs> no, it is. And, Coach, I think there's more people up behind us than there is across from us. Wow. Got some water down on the floor. Got to get cleaned up. Top point inbounds. Kermilovich. Get down inside. Taking Xander Dornan out of the game and put in number 50, Jackson Childers. He gets it down low to Haney, kicks it out to Lovely. He pulls up from 12, knocks it down. 19-17, 52 seconds to go here in the first half. Davis hands off to Allen. Allen to Buchanan. And we got a timeout, Fairland. Timeout. Checking in is uh, Noah Markham. 
Just checked in for the Dragons. Yes, it is. He played really well the other night in their first game against Ross Southeastern. Yes, he did. So, Coach, I got a question. They're going to put the ball on the baseline. I thought the ball was up above the foul line when he called the timeout. Is that one my incorrect? Well, I think that I see him talk it over. He's bringing it back over here to okay. the sideline. Yeah, here we go. It's going to be here. I thought the ball was above the foul line. Right. I was going to say, I can't believe we're going to give it to him underneath. Up and top, players. Up and top. Inbounding for the Dragons. <clears throat> J.D. Thacker. He gets it into Will Smith. 42 seconds to go here in the half. Allen to Thacker. Kicks it to Markham. Markham down the corner to Buchanan. Gets it back out top to, Thack, uh, to Allen. Coach, I think South Point's gone to their own little kind of matchup 2-3 here, looks like. Well, Ooh. now they're into a man. Right. 14 seconds to go here in the half. Davis to Allen. Allen to Markham. He puts up a long three. It's off the rim, and that's going to be the half. Your score at halftime. A very tight contest here in the district semifinals at Ironton High School, the South Point Pointers 19 and the Fairland Dragons 17. And coach, not much scoring to go through, I'll tell you. <laughs> Makes it easy on me. Okay, if you got them. All right, let's go. First of all, for South Point, we've got Caleb Lovely with seven. We've got Zathan Haney with four. Jackson Yance has two. Carter Smith has four. And Jackson Childers has two. And that's 19 for South Point. For Fairland, Will Davis did not score. Chase Allen has six. J.D. Thacker has five. Steeler Leap with four. And Brody Buchanan with two. So there's your scoring right there for your half. Not a whole lot to say there. Okay, <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about uh, Lady Dragons. They uh, won their regional semifinal game against another undefeated team, the Uniodo Uni Sherman Tanks were 25 and 0, and the Fairland Lady Dragons were 25 and 0. And we're uh, kind of happy to report that the Dragons are 26 and 0 now, and Unioto's 25 and 1. Uh, really good ball game uh, in the first quarter. Unioto led 17-16, and at halftime the Dragons started opening up a little bit. We had a 38-30 lead, and then it was Katie bar the door, and they started. Well, getting the threes and getting out and running, getting layups. I and want to uh, talk about, you know, some of those individuals from last night, Coach, and I, I had it right here, and I wanted to take a look at that. Uh, guys, it's just, I mean, Coach, that's just an impressive way that the Dragons won that game last night. I, I don't know if you got to see any of it, but. I've watched every second of it. I'll tell you, it, it uh, you know, Tommy Hinkle, I believe she had 20 points last night, 20. if I'm not mistaken. Um, we had a couple of others. Cam Barnett's had 18. All right. And Bree Allen, uh, let's see. Her. Bailey Russell had 17. Right. Cam had 18. Bree Allen had 13. And Kylie Bruce had 11. So, Coach, we had five in double figures. That's impressive. Right. I mean, that's balanced scoring. And I'll be honest with you, I'm glad to see Cam get on the scoreboard a little bit. She's Jeez. a great shooter. She was heated up there in the second half. And, I, you know, she played for me back seventh and eighth grade. And uh, she was a spark plug for me. She kept, she kept the glue together for me back then. I, I'm, and I'm really happy to see her score those points and do well. Yep. 
But congratulations to all of them. I mean, really, you know, Bailey played for me. Bree played for me. Uh, Addison Kylie Godby played, came yep. off the bench, played well. Uh, she's really been controlling the boards here lately. Kylie Bruce had a great game. Got a couple of really nice block shots, and uh, I think she hit a three out of the corner. And really, just an all-around team performance from the Lady Dragons. You knock off a team that's undefeated, 25 and 0 in their own backyard, basically. Right. Uh, and coach, we are now in the Elite Eight, folks. You can see your screen there. We are down at the very bottom of the bracket. Uh, we're going to be playing Granville. They beat uh, John Glenn. John Glenn, and they beat them kind of embarrassing, coach. It was <laughs> it's hard to believe. Uh, John Glenn only scored six points in the game. That's a, that's just unbelievable. And I don't understand that, but. Yeah. Regardless, uh, if you look down through there, folks, you can see the top eight teams left in the state. If Fairland can get by Grand Granville, then we are will be at Dayton, and we'll Final be there four. Final Four, and we play the winner of Canfield Northwest. And in the upper part of the bracket, you've got Hamilton Bay, and you've got Purcell Marion, uh, you got Bryan and Norwalk, and they'll be playing. All those will be playing for the berth in the Final Four. Uh, Jerry, can you give us the, the match up there with Grand, Granville, how we match up with them? I think Jerry's got our guru over there. He's got it, and he's going to pop it up on the screen so you guys can kind of look at it. Well, while we're waiting on that, uh, the winner of tonight's game, between South Point Pointers and the Federal Dragons, will go on and face Zane Trace in the district finals, and that game is going to be at the Convocation Center in Athens, Ohio. And all right, we got the team comparison up there. You can see the league records. Uh, Granville has a great record, Coach, 25 and two. Yes. Uh, you look at your Martin RPI state rank, you know, we're at second there. And uh, points per game, Dragon scoring quite a few more. Uh, also allowing just a few more. Now, you know, Granville only allowed six points last night, Coach. That's yeah, well, that, that's pretty dead on good, yeah. And uh, you can see that regional score down there at the bottom. That's unbelievable. Of course, Dragons aren't no slouch. I mean, 88 points on the board is a lot they, for any team. They much can less. put them up now. Yep. Absolutely. And they do it the same way. They hit the threes, and they play really good man-to-man, -man, get the boards, and boom, they're gone down to the other end. Bailey right. Russell gets a lot of uncontested layups just by running the floor the way she does. I will tell you this, Coach. When I know Coach McClung and I had those girls in the seventh and the eighth grade, we practiced a lot running the floor, doing a lot of break stuff. And you can see that that's carried over. Coach, you know, Buchanan has embraced that and kind of put that a little more into what he does. And right. we get up and down the floor really well. And that, that get, by the way, Coach, that game will be Friday night. In Zanesville at 7 p.m., Zanesville High School, High School at 7 p.m. Friday night. So, yeah, I want to say this about Coach uh, Buchanan also is that he was smart enough to get out of the press last night because sometimes when you're pressing a team, especially a team that's 25 and 0 and they're getting the ball down the floor, their point guard just a freshman. She had 23 points last night. They were getting a lot of uh, shots and not having to work for them. Uh, once they broke the press. They were getting some really good looks, and they were knocking them down, and they was ahead of us 17-16 at the end of the first quarter. And then we got out of the press, and their looks weren't quite as good. But you know what else, too, I think about that, Coach? I think Coach Buchanan wore them out a little bit. Oh, yeah. I think he he'll, wore them out in the first half press, and I really do. And He'll I think, run you in the ground now if you let him. <laughs> and I think that affected him in that second half. So... Uh, we got that, but um, anyway, so girls, good luck to you all. I saw several of the girls here tonight. Oh, yeah, they're sitting right across the way. Tommy's over there. And Brian's over there. Bree and uh, Kylie East, Bruce. Issa Talaferro's over there. Yep. And I'm sure there's some more sprinkled in here somewhere that we didn't get to see. But uh, anyway, Coach, I got a couple shout-outs. I probably go with I, it. We got a couple minutes. My mom knows that 
we're here and she's watching. Oh, hello, Virginia. So Hope you're feeling better. She's watching tonight. Mary and Tom, I know they're tuning in, uh, a.k.a. the uh, owners of the Codger name that she named <laughs> us all. But, you know, we're now the Codgers and crew, Coach, because we can't forget Doug and we can't forget Jerry. That's right. So we're the Codgers and crew. So, anyway, shout out to all them. Well, hello, uh, Donahue Clan, Keith, Holly, Lola, Rosie, and Frankie. And hello to the Whitley Clan, Matt, Ashley, Stella, and we call him Bubby, but his name is Cash. <laughs> Cash Money. Cash Money. <laughs> I think my two daughters, I think one of them's working tonight, and the other one's probably already asleep. So, <laughs> hello, Brandon Isabel. I love you. <laughs> and I don't think Nick Oh, is, I better say hello to the texture. Uh, yeah. You better not forget it. I got to go home and sleep there, man. <laughs> That's right. Well, I better not forget Miss Montgomery. That's right. Buddy. You know, she might get mad if I forget her. And Levi and Cheyenne and River, all you guys too. I hope they might be tuning in tonight. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for everybody at home tuning in to watch us. Yes. We appreciate you all doing it. Yes, I know we got people down in Florida, uh, all around the nation, really, checking in, check, checking with uh, their. And let's thank these two guys, Coach. Sure. Doug Morris, Jerry Bell, man, what, how easy can you make it? And if it wasn't for these guys, we wouldn't be doing any of this stuff. That's right. Okay, we got about 30 seconds to the second half, and it looks like it's probably going to be South Point ball. I haven't seen any tie-ups. So, uh, Fairland took it out to start the second quarter. So, I'm fairly sure. Emma Marshall. Emma Marshall? Emma Marshall. She wants hey, a shout-out. Hey, Emma. Out, How you doing there? Homecoming queen. Also known as the toe. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. Going to be a good half, Coach. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be, what do they got? South Point ball. Looks like Ermilovich is going to inbound. Pointers with a slim two-point lead, 19-17 here to start the third quarter. Place is rocking. Lovely. Back to Ermolovich. Out top to Carter. He swings it back. Inside. Yance. Ermolovich going to put up a three. It's around the rim and out. Rebounded there. Tapped out by Will Davis to Chase Allen. He drops it off. And he's picked by Ermolovich. We got a three on one. And Xander. Dornan misses, puts it back up, misses again. And we got a foul. And it's going to go on, on J.D. number Thacker. four, J.D. Thacker. Is that his? That's his third, third foul. Team foul number one on the Dragons. Ermolovich to inbound. He gets it to Dornan. Dornan back to Ermolovich. He brings it back out top between the circle, swings it to Lovely. Gets a pick by Dornan. Kicks it out to Carter for three, and he drains it. And there's your biggest lead of the game right there, Coach, I think. I think they did have a 5 nothing, and now it's 22-17, so they matched their biggest lead of the game. Steve Leap with it on the right wing. Back out top to Buchanan. He gets it back to Leap. Leap out top to Davis. Had a backdoor cut by Allen. Davis found him all alone for the layup, and it's 22-19. Nice backdoor there by Chase Allen. Dragon still in her 2-3, Coach. There's a long three. Put up by Lovely. Dornan pulls down a rebound, misses the put back. Ermolovich going to put up a three. His rims out. Lovely. Now we're going to have a tie up. 
And then it'll go over to the Dragons. Nice little scrum there, Coach. They're battling, I'll tell you that. Thacker inbounds to Davis. He brings it up the floor, across the line. And he's almost picked there by Lovely. Gets it back to Leap. Thacker for three. And it's down, and we've got a tie game, 22 all. That's his second three of the night, isn't it? I believe it is. He's got two threes and two free throws. Lovely with it out top, gets a pick from Dornan to Carter. Carter brings it back out between the circles. Gets it over to Lovely. He jump stop, puts up a 12 footer, it's good. 24-22. Davis with it between the circles. He gets it to leap, all alone on the left wing. Brings it back out to Allen. He gets a pick by Thacker. And they're getting their hands on a lot of ball. There's a back door by Davis. The shot is up and in by Davis. And there's a blocking foul on number 22, Jackson Yance. And he's upset with the official. But uh, you know how that's going to work. That's right, Coach. That's Will Davis's first uh, point of the game. Uh, he's going to the line to try to complete the three-point play. We're tied at 24. His shot is up and off the front of the rim. But there for the rebound, J.D. Thacker puts it back up and in. And Dragons take a 26-24 lead. Carter with it. And it's punched away by Allen to Leap. Leap drops off to Allen. He lays it up and in. And we've got a timeout quickly called by... Coach Travis Wise in the South Point Pointers. Wow, well, that's a quick turnaround. Yeah, it was. I don't care. I'm not keeping the runs here right now. 22 17, and now the Dragons have 28. 6 0 a, run, Jerry says. Well, they've outscored them 11 to 2 over the last minute and a half. Boy, this place is rocking. Yes. Look up behind us, Coach. Yeah. Yeah. Great, yeah, crowd, great here crowd here tonight. Wow. I think South Point basketball. Hermanovich inbounds to Lovely. He picked up there by Brody Buchanan. The Dragons fall back into their matchup. There's a three put up by Carter Smith. And he drains it and he cuts the lead to, down to one. Dragons up 28-27. Will Davis with it between the circles. It's a steer leap, and I'm just daring him to shoot. J.D. Thacker on the right wing, back out top to Allen. He works down to leap. He's going to take it, and he drains it. Uh, sooner or later, he was going to take one, Coach, and he nailed that one. Oh, I think they only gave him two on that, Coach. He was two? on the line. Yes, there's only 30 on the board, so he must have gave him two. He must have had a toe on the line. 30-27. 3.50 to go here in the third quarter. Driving down the lane and putting it up off the glass is Jordan Hermelovich. And it's 30-29. J.D. Thacker checked there by Xander Dornan. South Point still in their man. Leap, the Thacker. He pulls up, shoots, it's off the back of the rim. Pulled down by Ernalovich. 
And it's knocked loose, but Ermolovich was able to get it to Carter. Ermolovich gets it back. He goes cross court to Lovely, back to Ermolovich, to Carter. Lovely pulls up. It's off the front of the rim. J.D. Thacker quickly down the floor. He's going the distance. Lays it up, and it's short. Partially blocked there. And there's a pass down court to Xander Dornan off his hands and out of bounds to the Dragons. Coach, and pay, pace has increased from that first half. Yes, Zathan Haney has checked in for Dornan. And Jackson Childers is in the lineup. Dragons sticking with their starting five. Will Davis. Gets it to Thacker. Davis works the left side of the lane. Bounce passes to Leap. Leap to Thacker. Thought about it. Thought better of it. Allen. Thacker. Down the lane. He goes up. And we got a foul on Childers. It looked like. Haney took a charge, and he might have, but uh, Jordan Childers called for blocking. So Thacker's going to go to the line and shoot two. 2.20 to go here in the third quarter. Dragons up 30-29. Thacker at the line. His first shot is up and good. And coach, I've noticed this three times already tonight. Officials telling a uh, gentleman to get their shirts tucked in. <laughs> Tacker's second shot's on the way, and it's off the back of the rim. Pulled down by Childers. Childers to Lovely. Lovely cross court to Ermolovich. Lovely with it. He's picked up there by Chase Allen. Back out top to Carter. Cross court to Ermolovich. He brings it back out. He kicks it back out to Lovely. He's at the top of the key, goes down the lane, puts up the shot and rolls it in. Yes, 31-31. Will Davis. Cross court to Thacker. And Allen, Allen fakes right, goes left, kicks it back to Davis. Down low to Leap on the baseline. Allen puts up a shot. Thacker comes up with a loose ball. Over to Allen, he puts it up and in off the glass. 33-31, Dragons. Coach Chase Allen's got 12 points through three quarters. Now we got a foul on Steeler Leap on the baseline, blocking foul. Is that his first or second? That's his first. First foul. First foul, team second of the half, Coach. Caleb Lovely with it. He's working against Allen, kicks it to Carter. Childers going to put up the jumper, and he ties it up at 33. A little nine-footer. Will Smith working against Lovely. Hands off to Chase Allen. It's a back out top to Thacker. Back to Allen. Allen picked up by, there's a long three-pointer put up by Brody Buchanan. It's off the back of the rim at the end of the third quarter. And that's,
pretty close, 33 to 33. Can't get much better than that. Well, it's going to be a, a dandy here in the fourth quarter, Coach. Yeah, Dragons outscored them by two points that quarter. That allowed us to get up to the tie. Eight minutes to go, Coach. The sexual semifinal. Nothing like it, is there? <laughs> oh, I love, but I'm sweating up here. I don't know about you. <laughs> Come on, old spice is working good. All right, it's going to be. Your sister says hi from Florida, Coach. Hello, Francis, Cheryl, I know you're watching. Carter Smith, out top. Going to start the third quarter with possession, or fourth quarter, excuse me. Fourth and final quarter of this very exciting district semifinal. There's a three put up by Jordan Umilovich. Will Davis, half court between the circles. He's working against Lovely. Quick three put up by Chase Allen. It's off the back of the rim and on the rebound, Steeler Leap is called for his second personal foul. That's team foul number three. Lovely inbounds to Ermilovich. Smith with it, brings it out between the circles. He looks, finds Lovely. Hermelovic gets it to the foul line. Childers, Childers' shot is up and it's short. And it's rebounded by Will Davis and knocked out of bounds by South Point. It'll be the Dragons basketball. 6.49 to go here in the game. J.D. Thacker brings it up court. He bounces it to Will Davis. Davis working at the top of the key. Another back door by. There's a shot put up by Chase Allen. It's good, and we got a blocking foul. Number 10, that foul is on Haney. Is Ethan Haney. So Chase Allen will go to the line, puts up the foul shot, and it rolls it off the front of the rim, hits the backboard, and drops in. He's seven for seven, I think. The Dragons take a or tie it up, 36. Hermilovich, back to Lovely. He drops it off. Kicks it back out to Lovely. He pulls up, takes a three. It's off the right side of the rim. Davis comes out of there with the rebound. Allen brings it across the line. Five forty-five on the running clock. Allen going the distance again. This time he's fouled again. This time he's fouled by Zaney, or Haney again, Zathan Haney. And Allen will go back to the line where he's been 
fairly proficient. <laughs> uh, five for five, Coach. Let's not jinx him. First one is up and oh, falls off the left side of the rim. Okay, I won't say anything. <laughs> Sorry about that, Chase. I don't believe in that. <laughs> I don't either. Allen's second shot. It's on the way and it is good. Dragons by one, 37-36. Lovely with it out top. Chase Allen knocked that out of bounds. Boy, he's everywhere, isn't he? He is. Playing hard. Playing hard. Carter Smith with it out top. The lovely. He goes down the lane, pulls up, shoots. It's off the right side of the rim, but Zathan Haney comes out of there with it. He gets it to Childers, to Lovely, to Smith, and we've got a kick ball, and it'll be a pointer's ball on the side. Haney gets it in to Ermolovich, who gets it to Carter. He puts up a three. And pulling down the rebound, Chase Allen. Hangs it up the floor. Looks things over. Hands off to Davis. We got a double pick set for Allen. He puts up a shot and it's good. And the Dragons take a three point lead, 39-36. 4.40 to go here in the ball game. We got a foul committed by Will Davis. Blocking foul on the sideline. It'll be Pointer's ball. Down three with 4.25 to go. Well, I think Will could have got pegged for another yeah. one right there. Lovely gets it over to Ermolovich. He's working down the lane. Kicks out Carter Smith for three. Drains it. And it's tied at 39. Four minutes to go here in the game. And there's a pass. It's off the hands of Brody Buchanan. Out of bounds to the pointers. Pass inside to Lovely. Takes it down. Puts up the shot. He's fouled. And... He's going to go to the line to shoot two. Try to give the pointers. Who is that on? Jay Jay Thacker, 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 that is his coach. fourth. I think we're too deep in to be subbing now. First shot up by Caleb Lovely is good. And the pointers take a one point lead. And coach, that's his first, uh, first point of the fourth quarter. Wow. We played two and a half minutes. Well, yeah. no, we played longer than that. Yeah. Checking in for the pointers, Elijah Wilburn, number four. Lovely second shot is up, and it's good. Davis, hands to Allen. Allen back out top to Thacker. Thacker gets it back from Leap. Turns to the middle. And Hermanovich tied him up, and he rolled over with the ball, and they called timeout. Fairland Dragons. 
call timeout. Romanovich was trying to call timeout, but he'd already been called for traveling. Yeah, I don't think the guy that made the call could see that, and I don't think the other guy on the baseline could see it either, Coach. Well, here we are again. If you look, it's four fouls on South Point and five on the Dragons, so it's even pretty evenly called the game. I think it's been pretty well called. Well, these guys are assigned right. to do these games, so there's not slouches calling any of these games. I mean, Coach, the winner of this game plays, I believe it's the fifth. Zane Trace. At OU Convocation Center at yes, 6 o'clock or 6.30? 6 o'clock. <laughs> Here we go, Brody Buchanan the inbounds basketball. Allen gets it over to Buchanan. Packers gonna put up a three. It's off the back of the rim, but it's rebounded by Davis. South Point still in the man-to-man. -man. Davis. Ah, the one official saw it. Kick basketball. It was a good call. Well, here's the thing. He's not afraid to make that call, Coach. He's got all these people in his ear, and... Not afraid to make it. Allen cross court to Davis, brings it back out top. Hits it to Allen on the left wing. He works against Wilburn. Drops off to J.D. Thacker, who puts it up and in. We're all tied again at 41. 2.28 to go here in the game. Carter Smith. Back out top to Ermolovich. Caleb Lovely. Ermolovich puts up a jumper from the foul line and drains it. 43-41. Two minutes to go in the game. Buchanan gonna let a three go. Drained it. And the Dragons take a one point lead, 43, 44-43. You can't leave him that wide open. Lovely puts up a shot, it's short. Buchanan comes out of there with the board. Minute 30 to go in the game. Let's see what Fairland's gonna do now. He gets it back out top to Thacker. They're gonna run a little clock. Davis. Approaching one minute, Davis puts up a jumper. It's too long, but it's rebounded by Buchanan. Back out top to Allen. One minute. Allen, down the lane, goes in, lays it up. It's too strong, Clacker. Puts it back, but it's of no consequence. We had a foul on the shot when Chase Allen went to the to the basket and got hit in the face. Chase Allen shooting two. Allen will shoot two. Dragons up 44-43. 57.8 seconds to go, and we got a timeout, South Point. Those are big free throws right here, Coach. You bet you. And that coach, that last foul was on timeout. Elijah Wilburn. That was his first. And we got a timeout in South Point. I'm impressed with the way Chase Allen really took the ball to the basket. Oh, I don't know that he shot, but maybe one or two threes all night. 
Well, he's played he, hard. He, he really, really has. took the ball to the hole. I believe, as of now, I believe he's got 18 points. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. He's got a chance to get 20 right here if these two free throws. More importantly, put the Dragons up by three. I look across the court there. Keller's really working on that beard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure by home can see him doing it too. <laughs> <laughs> he might working that thing over. He might have any strands left by the time this game's over. <laughs> Going to the line. Chase Allen. Dragons up one. Chase Allen's first shot on the way, and it is in and out. My hands are sweating. You think his are? Second shot's on the way, and it's off the side of the rim. Hold down there by Haney. Haney to Lovely. Lovely over to Ermolovich. I wonder who's going to take this last shot. My money is on the Southeast District Player of the Year. Dornan back out to Lovely. Lovely down the lane. Goes up and lays it in. 30 seconds to go in the game. Pointers up one, 45-44. And Coach Speed calls a timeout for the Dragons. I think you got to look for Chase Allen to take something to the hole here. I agree. And they're running offense where they get a double screen off the back side. I don't know if you paid any attention to that. but Right, I see that double screen. They're running a little bit of UCLA. Well, as you said, white knuckler, Coach. Well, it doesn't get any wider than this. This wow. Is, this is a game you and I expected, though. We talked about it. Right. I told Coach Speed earlier tonight, it's, it's very tough to beat a team three times. I said, I expect you all to play a good game. You know, I said, uh, you know, it, it, and, and that's exactly what we've had here tonight, a very good basketball game. Absolutely. Well officiated, well played. Well, the pointers need to stop here, I can tell you that. There's just 25.5 seconds left. The Dragons need a bucket. <laughs> It'll be Dragon basketball at half court. Brody Buchanan inbound for the Dragon. Everybody in the place is standing. Will Davis with it. Works against Lovely. To Buchanan, Buchanan off the double screen. It's a Steeler leap. And we got a foul. And that's gonna be a Dragon basketball underneath their own basket. And that foul was on Cato Lovely. That's only his first, Coach. Team foul number six on South Point, so the foul again is going to result in a one and one. So what's the coach speed going to draw up here out of bounds place to try to get in? Well, I think, he, you know, two kids there, really three. I think uh, Brody Buchanan, he's not afraid to take the last shot. And J.D. Thacker and, and Chase Allen. Of course, you never know. Will Davis can take it to the hole. Oh, 
12.9 seconds to go. Dragons down one, 45-44. With the ball out of bounds underneath their own basket. Brody Buchanan the inbound for the Dragons. Get the ball in the Steeler leap. Chase Allen with it. He's going to take it to the rack. Puts up the shot. It's good. It's good with five seconds left. Chase Allen with the 15-foot jumper going to his right, put it up. Woo! Wow. wow. <laughs> five seconds to go in the game, and South Point has to go the entire distance, which is plenty enough time. You and I both know that. Absolutely. He can act, I don't know what he has timeouts left, Coach, but... He could draw it up and get up to half court, call another timeout if he wanted to. What do you think the Dragons are going to play here on defense? Think I they'll think pick them up? I think you got to pressure the ball uh, you gotta and pick, pick them up. up. You know, you just you can't let them have that shot. Well, I don't think you can allow them to get the ball at the court so quick, so make them work. But you also, the next foul is one and one, and you really don't want to put them on the foul line either. Nope. Does that put you at a disadvantage? If there's two seconds left. No, they've got a foul to give. According to the scoreboard. Oh, that's right. You're correct. So you that might, changes it. You're yeah, right. Yeah, you, you might. might think about fouling here. Just as a cross half court. Uh, who do you think is going to take his shot? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Probably zero. Uh, I'm going to guess that's who it is going to be. Hermilovich. They get it to Smith. Smith to Lovely. Puts up a three, and it's good! Oh, my gosh! At the buzzer! The district player of the the year just hit the biggest shot of his life and my goodness they're coming out of the stands and the pointers have won wow. 48 to 46 in one of the most exciting ball games you'll ever watch or be a part of it's a broadcast crew my goodness that had to be about 24 feet coach oh it ever bit of nothing but net Incredible shot, incredible. What a ball game you have witnessed here tonight. The Dragons heading to the locker room. Man, they played a great ball game. The South Point Corners will be taking on Zane Trace, six o'clock on March 5th at the Convocation Center in Athens, Ohio. My goodness, I still can't get over that. Well, we'll have the scores for you here in just a second. All right, we'll, we'll go for the Dragons first. All righty. Uh, Will Davis finished with two. Brody Buchanan finished with five. Steeler Leap had six. J.D. Thacker uh, in his last game had 13, and Chase Allen finished with 20. And by the way, Chase is going to be the, he's going to be the game's leading scorer. Uh, for South Point, Jackson Yance had two. Jackson Childers had four. Zathan Henry had four. Uh, Jordan Ermolovich, uh, got that one right, I think, that time, had seven. Carter Smith, coach, came in and hit three threes. He had, he, he started, but he had 13 points. And then Caleb Lovely finished with 17 and he had that last three, which won the game right there. Wow. So I'm going to tell you, that was, uh, that's tournament basketball for you. And well, folks at home, if you didn't enjoy this game or the people here didn't enjoy this game, doesn't matter if you win or lose, it was a good game. It was a great game. I mean, I know there's a lot of 
people dressed in green out of dejected right now, but if you're a real basketball fan, you have to appreciate what you what you've seen here tonight. Both teams battling, leaving it all out there on the floor. Uh, Chase Allen hit a big shot right there with 12 seconds to go. Or five seconds, wasn't it? Yeah, five seconds to go. He hit a yep. big shot, put the Dragons up, and even a bigger shot hit by Caleb Lovely, the district player of the year, came through for the South Point Pointers with a big three there as the buzzer sounded. Man, wow. what a game. Great game. Wow. And I'm warm up here. I don't know about you. Yeah, it's a little warm. Good crowd here tonight. Great crowd here right. to watch this ball game. They're still buzzing. Well, neither team has anything to no. feel Man. bad about. I mean, Dragons played hard, had an opportunity. Yes. You know. Caleb Lovely just made, just made the shot. Right. And, uh, you know, you've got to. Credit their players for getting the ball in his hands because there couldn't have been more than, you know, one point some seconds left when it left his hand and uh, hit nothing but net. And Pointers come away with a really hard fought victory. Your final, South Point 48, Fairland 46. Tremendous ball game to watch. It was. Excellent. Disappointment for Fairland, but uh, but congratulations to South Point. They move on. Good luck to Coach Wise and his crew when he heads up there on the fifth. Plays Zane Trace. Six o'clock. Well, I guess we can uh, wrap it up. For Doug Moores, Jerry Bell, Dave Carroll, this is Jack Harris bidding you good night, everyone. Good night, everybody.